In this video, I'll show you how to use the right click and more menu on the host page. The menus differ slightly between the support and access tabs. I'll show you the differences. First, I'll join a session. Right click on a session and select join. Once I'm connected to the session, my guest machine will appear in the host client. Next, I will edit a session. Here, I can change the machine name or the custom properties. I can view my changes in the Start tab. Next, I'll run a tool on the remote machine from my toolbox. Here, I can either run a tool or manage my shared toolbox. I'll click Edit Mode to manage my toolbox. Now, I can add a directory, upload a new file, or click on a tools menu to download, delete, or rename that tool. Next, I'll pick a tool to run. I'll run the tool Elevated. Next, I'll delete a session. Using this modal, I can uninstall and delete a session, delete only, or uninstall only. This action cannot be undone. The session is removed from my list of access sessions. Next, I'll join with options. I'll join Backstage. Backstage gives me Windows Terminal and PowerShell access. I can work on this machine without disrupting the logged on user. Next, I'll pick a machine that has an outdated client and select Reinstall. The client will be reinstalled. The machine will update in my access list. Next, I'll uninstall the client. Here, I can uninstall and delete, delete only, or uninstall only. I'll choose uninstall and delete. This will uninstall the client from my remote machine and delete the machine from my session list. Next, I will wake a machine. To wake a machine, there must be another machine with an access agent installed on the same network. That machine will push the wake command to the sleeping machine. Once the wake command is sent, the machine will reconnect to my instance. Next, I'll send a message to the remote machine. Type a message in the box. The Messages tab displays sent and received messages. Next, I'll run a command. Type a command in the box. Check the Commands tab to see the command you ran and the output. Next, I'll add a note to a session. Type a note, then click Add Note. The Notes tab displays the note. Finally, I'll create a host pass for a guest vendor. I can select what permissions I'd like to grant this pass. Send the copied URL to the guest host. The pass will expire after one hour. Now, I'll show you the differences in the menus on the Support tab. The Support tab adds two additional options to the menu, Transfer a Session and Install an Access Agent. First, click Transfer. Click the dropdown and select the host that you'd like to transfer the session to. Click Transfer Session. Next, if you're connected to the machine, you can install an access agent so you can connect back to the machine at a later time. Select Install Access. I'll use the machine name. I can change the custom properties of the machine. I'll add a company. Now click Install Access. The Install Access command is queued. Once installed, the machine will appear in my access list. I can hover over a timestamp to confirm it was installed. That's it for the right click and more menu. To learn more, be sure to visit our documentation at connectwise.com slash control docs. Thanks.